Let's get into this hanging planter. You'll need Dollar Tree tumbling blocks, wood stain, a drill, a drill bit, a wooden peg, some type of tape, wood glue, and rope of your choice. To attach it to the wall, you'll need a nail or some frame hooks, two nails, and a hammer. We'll start by making the base. You'll have two rows with five blocks in each. You'll glue all ten blocks together like this. Be sure to wipe the excess glue before it dries. Next, we'll add the sidings on. You'll glue one block directly on the base. Next block, you'll move it forward so it sticks out. Then you'll repeat this pattern all the way around. So glue back, then glue forward. Gently wipe away the extra glue as you work. Once all the sides are glued on, we'll leave it to dry and now we'll use six blocks to make the piece the plant hangs from. There's two rows with three blocks in each. We'll glue them on top of each other just like this. Next, we'll need one block and add the peg to the stand for more weight support. You can use one block or three blocks depending on how you attach it to the wall. I attached mine to the wall with one nail so I only needed one block. But you can also attach together three blocks if you use some type of frame hook like one of these. Adding tape to your drill bit that's the same length of your peg helps so that you don't drill too deep in. Now we'll drill into the stand. Next, we'll drill into the block that will attach to the wall. Be sure not to go all the way through, just enough so the peg tip fits into it. Now we'll go ahead and add some glue to both sides and push the peg in. This is optional, but for more security, I just added two nails into the back of it. Now we'll drill a hole for our string to go through. You'll be passing through four strands of string, so you'll want your hole to be big enough to pull it through. Now we'll go ahead and stain our whole piece. This time around, I only did one coat, but it's entirely up to you whether you want it lighter or darker. Next, we'll cut two pieces of string. The length depends on your plant height. You'll want to add a knot to the middle and then tie them together. Then you'll flip it over and you could add some glue to help the rope to stay down at the center. I didn't, but I can see how that would be helpful. Now, you're going to take all four pieces and push it through the stand. Once it's all the way through, you're going to want to pick it up to make sure it hangs straight and then you're going to add your knot. You can cut off the excess string and then you can either use your nail like I did or you can use frame hooks to attach it to the wall. And there you have it, your beautiful plant hanger. I attach mine with one nail and it depends on how you want to hang it. This is not a heavy plant so one nail works fine but it's entirely up to you. I just love the way this came out. I am such a plant lover so this is right in my field and I hung it right against 
our TV. We had a nice little empty spot that it just works perfect here. Well, I hope you all love this and definitely give it a try. Team, Team Gravy, making things easy. easy.